that uh, I really indebted with the uh, Collège d'Etudes Mondiale who gave to me the possibility of making this conference uh, and uh, especially uh, Olivier Wang, uh, Sarah Guindani who not only uh, was a part of uh, uh, say the, uh, the head of the institution but also was uh, a part of uh, the people who helped me in making this uh, 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 this conference, uh, uh, namely Enrico e Angela, and Enrico Terrone and Angela Condello. Uh, and uh, it was very beautiful for me because, in fact, uh, they have done uh, the most of jobs so that uh, uh, I'm uh, just here to speak in, in Paris, which is uh, uh, very beautiful. Uh, 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 the, second, uh, the second point is that uh, this uh, interest of uh, the Collège d'Etudes Mondiale for uh, web is not uh, a single event, it's a part of uh, a research line who involves uh, not only only the works we are doing, but for instance, uh, many other uh, researchers, there is Manuel Castel among uh, the people working uh, in the Collège de Tudes Mondial, and uh, 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 within uh, uh, I believe uh, a couple of months, yes, in fact, a couple of months, uh, there will be, uh, so to speak, uh, not a second part of this conference because it has nothing to do with uh, this conference, uh, um, except uh, the subject, uh, which uh, uh, with the uh, well-known uh, openness of uh, French uh, of France uh, to uh, foreign language. Uh, uh, the title is uh, La Toile que nous voulons, uh, which uh, suggests that the uh, web uh, is uh, toile. And uh, uh, this uh, conference uh, uh, will be held at uh, Grand Salle du Centre uh, Pompidou between uh, December 14 and December 15. And uh, well, but uh, uh, don't uh, anticipate uh, what uh, will happen. Uh, well, my presentation. Uh, uh, this uh, this presentation, the mobilized animal, um, uh, it's not surprising that uh, there is a presentation on the mobilized animal since uh, 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 the the title of uh, this conference uh, is uh, uh, Total Mobilization, but uh, 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 there could be a legitimate uh, uh, question about who is the mobilized animal and uh, Well, uh, uh, who is the mobilized animal? Uh, the idea, you, here you see two animals. Uh, uh, the one uh, is uh, a not mobilized animal. Uh, it's also, uh, 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 so to speak, uh, it's also uh, mm, in, a, in a situation of, uh, uh, so to speak, a slavage because uh, he has uh, this visible chain that uh, uh, links uh, the not mobilized animal to his master. And uh, here we see the mobilized animal. The mobilized animal um, has uh, an uh, invisible chain that uh, links uh, uh, the animal who, uh, with other animals, but uh, the other animals uh, presumably are uh, uh, mobilized uh, animal too. So um <coughs> what is interesting, this idea of uh, the mobilized animal is uh, that uh, there is uh, not, I want uh, 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 say that uh, this is a perverse uh, situation. Uh, this is my main thesis. This is not a perverse uh, situation because uh, the most of uh, uh, you can find uh, or every always uh, in the web uh, uh, images uh, like this uh, and the discourse uh, in, uh, implied uh, in this uh, presentation is that this is a kind of uh, slavery. Uh, how, how we became a slave of the web and so on and so forth. I don't find uh, nothing especially uh, 
perverse in the fact uh, that uh, uh, this mobilized animal prefer to speak uh, to, to write instead of speaking uh, and uh, to have uh, a relationship uh, with uh, another uh, mobilized animal in absence uh, instead uh, than in pro in presence there is uh, uh, so uh, all this quantity of uh, uh, of images uh, that uh, we are shown in the web in which you see families uh, with all the people looking uh, at the, their devices uh, or uh, um, the two uh, partners, uh, each one uh, looking uh, at uh, the device, uh, are not a sign of perversion. But because uh, uh, is nothing, uh, of there is nothing especially natural or obvious uh, that uh, we speak uh, with uh, someone who is in front of us uh, instead then we write uh, in uh, uh, on on a on a electronic device <laughs> What uh, is interesting here is not uh, the moralistic uh, uh, attitude that we can have towards uh, this kind of uh, living, but uh, uh, what we can learn about us and about society from this uh, kind of mobilization. We were aware since uh, many years uh, of the fact that uh, the man is uh, a um, centuries there is an animal uh, that has language uh, or which is uh, rational which is social this, uh, those are the classical definition of the man what we discovered about the man uh, the humanity in uh, uh, the last decades uh, is that the man is uh, a, a mobilized animal this is uh, a new uh, revelation about the man so that uh, when I say man because uh, I am old-fashioned but uh, not sexist uh, of course I'm meaning uh, humanity uh, so uh, this presentation will be uh, uh, in four parts uh, but uh, very small four parts uh, no panic the first one is uh, alienation. The most uh, of interpretation of the situation uh, of humanity in the in what is called uh, the so obscurely, in fact, uh, the age of technique. Why or age should be the age of technique, uh, since there is technique uh, s uh, from uh, 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 here. I have this old book, uh, old uh, not only uh, in this. Uh, original in his translation uh, on the prehistory of uh, Le Roi Gouran. He speaks about uh, our ancestors, uh, or very, very ancient ancestors. The history about uh, which uh, uh, speaks uh, Le Roi Gouran is a history of technique. He speaks about technique, so that uh, there is uh, no special of uh, te technicity in uh, our epoch instead uh, than uh, in other epoch. Um, the hypothesis, the prevalent uh, hypothesis that uh, we are in the age of technique and this uh, age of technique uh, is uh, a, a form of alienation of uh, a human nature which exists independently from technique. Uh, I uh, will uh, criticize uh, this hypothesis uh, and uh, I will uh, uh, defend uh, an alternative hypothesis, uh, namely that uh, the technique uh, is uh, uh, the condition of possibility of humanity, what uh, makes the difference uh, from the mobilized animal and the not mobilized animal is the fact that the, mobilized, uh, the not mobilized animal has n uh, uh, no dresses, uh, uh, no smartphone, no hats, uh, no shoes, uh, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, I, I mean, uh, technique uh, is uh, a part uh, of uh, what uh, what we are and uh, uh, since technique is a part of what we are technique is a revelation of what we are not an alienation of what we are um, and uh, this transforms uh, in partly what uh, we can uh, say about the web because uh, there is no matter of saying uh, web is a perversion of human nature. Uh, maybe human nature is perversed, uh, perverted, intrinsically perverted, but uh, what the web does uh, is only the revelation of uh, this intrinsic 
intrinsic nature, not a deformation of this uh, intrinsic nature. And uh, the way in which uh, the web uh, uh, make this revelation is uh, the way of an emergence and not a construction. Mostly the, uh, the way of uh, understand uh, our, our relationship uh, with um, with uh, 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 technology is uh, often uh, a way of saying there is a construction. And this is a part of the ideology of alienation. There is uh, somewhere a, a big brother who is uh, a bad brother who decide with uh, a planification and a construction of making uh, some uh, uh, alienating acts uh, against uh, humanity. I don't believe it so. Uh, what is uh, very clear with the web is uh, that the web uh, is a form of an em emergence and uh, not construction. With emergence, uh, I mean that uh, who uh, uh, invented the web was not at all uh, um, uh, aware of uh, the consequences of the web, of the purposes of the web, or what the, the web will do and will uh, want. Uh, there was uh, uh, only the idea of make uh, a kind of uh, Leibnizian academy in which uh, there was uh, uh, Mm, uh, researchers uh, communicating each other's uh, uh, scientific discoveries uh, and not uh, what happened uh, with the, wo uh, the web. And uh, what the web became is uh, uh, a part, uh, is dependent from the web and uh, not uh, from the uh, uh, decision of uh, some constructors. And uh, um, to uh, um, the 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 the, uh, the last point uh, is uh, revolution. Uh, I won't say that uh, web uh, is a revolution. It's uh, completely banal to say that. Uh, uh, the, the standard uh, uh, syntax of the informatic revolution. Uh, uh, it's banal to say that uh, this is a revolution. Maybe it's more interesting to uh, uh, wonder uh, something like, uh, of to, um, to, 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 to thematize something like, uh, uh, what is the kind of revolution, of Copernican revolution we can do with the web, namely, if uh, this hypothesis, the hypo hypothesis of revelation and emergence are true, could we use the web as uh, a way of uh, detecting uh, the true uh, characters uh, of human nature? And in this sense, uh, it's really a, a Copernican revolution because instead of imagining that there is a, a human intentionality that uh, uh, works uh, in the construction of social reality, and then uh, in constructing uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the world, we have uh, to imagine that uh, there is uh, a technique uh, who constructs uh, uh, what we are. We are a result uh, of the technique. And uh, uh, this makes it so that uh, we can understand what we are if uh, we look uh, at the device uh, we use. Alienation. Uh, uh, in the hypothesis of alienation, still remain uh, uh, this uh, idea of uh, Rousseau. Uh, you remember, I suppose, a uh, man is born free and everywhere is in chains. How did uh, this change uh, come about? I don't know. Uh, there is a, a, a slight problem in this uh, fact, uh, I don't know, I say. Uh, someone comes and say, uh, uh, the man is born free, but it is uh, everywhere, in ch everywhere in chains. Uh, why? I don't know. Um, uh, why exactly? Uh, many critics uh, of uh, this perspective uh, suggested that maybe the uh, uh, the point, uh, the starting point of Rousseau was wrong, namely, man is not uh, uh, born free. Um, and uh <coughs> but the idea that the man is born free is at the basis, the true basis uh, of uh, the idea that uh, uh, technology is an alienation. 
and uh, supposes uh, three uh, main points about the human nature that are usually supposed, presupposed in uh, the criticism of the act of technique uh, on human nature, who are highly contestable. Uh, uh, um, there are the three presuppositions about uh, what humans are. Uh, the first one uh, is the autonomy, the fact uh, that uh, we are uh, the constructors uh, of our will and uh, of uh, uh, our uh, uh, human law. For instance, uh, this is typical uh, uh, Kant, the Kantian point of view. Uh, we are the constructor of a moral law and then we are uh, uh, the executors of uh, this uh, moral law. The intentionality. There is uh, a kind of intentionality which is uh, intrinsic uh, in uh, human uh, uh, in humanity, and uh, this is also at the basis of the construction of social reality. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Professor Searle will speak about uh, uh, maybe. Uh, we, so, we will also make a reference uh, to his uh, social theory and in the social theory of uh, John Searle as of many other uh, 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 philosophers, social ontologists, uh, uh, the social reality is the result of a collective intentionality who is uh, something which is intrinsic uh, to he humanity and uh, then the meaning, uh, we are uh, the constructors uh, of uh, our own meaning. Uh, um, of course, uh, if uh, we suppose that uh, humanity is something autonomous uh, uh, with intentionality and uh, with uh, intrinsic meaning, uh, it becomes very obvious uh, that uh, technology is an alienation. Uh, because uh, seemingly the technology transform, reduces the autonomy, transforms the intentionality, adds uh, other meaning uh, to our uh, 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 activities. But what is problematic is uh, precisely this hypothesis, this, uh, this uh, starting uh, uh, hypothesis. The hypothesis of uh, alienation is an uh, hypothesis uh, based on uh, an anthropology which is uh, highly contestable. And this kind of anthropology, what you see here, is uh, the set uh, of uh, assumptions that usually are the basis of the criticism towards technology. When uh, you uh, read uh, in a newspaper or in the web um, uh, some commentaries on the people that uh, are deformated by the technique, uh, the people always uh, at the phone, cell phone, etc., uh, the hypothesis is uh, that uh, the human, as such, uh, has uh, three, uh, these uh, three main characters. I skip in order to be. Uh, the alternative hypothesis uh, is uh, the hypothesis of uh, revel uh, revelation. The revelation is uh, the idea that uh, the mobilization brought about the web is not alienation but a revelation. It manifests emergence character of both human beings and social reality. I mean, it's interesting. There was not uh, an uh, uh, as such, uh, an hidden as such, uh, which is uh, 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 alienated by technology. There is uh, the emergence and the revelation of uh, something which was uh, not uh, existing before uh, uh, every single technology, but is re revealed uh, by the technology. Uh, this could be also uh, something uh, of uh, accidental. I mean, there is not uh, an intrinsic necessity that makes uh, that uh, people invent uh, the wheel, for instance, because we know that uh, uh, there are uh, people without a will, uh, not a uh, will in conscious sense, uh, but uh, will, <laughs> will in, uh, 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 um, um, in uh, a Fordian sense, so to, so to, so to speak. Uh, uh, 
so there was uh, not uh, uh, a gigantic destiny hidden in the discovery of the wheel. Um, nonetheless, uh, the wheel reveals uh, some aspects of humanity that uh, uh, are not an alienation, but uh, what we are. The fact that people like uh, to use the wheel uh, since uh, the very childhood, uh, then uh, until, uh, uh, until the end of its life, usually people like the wheel. We have also wheels uh, in this church, for instance. So there is uh, wheels everywhere, except uh, in uh, uh, the places in which people have not invented the wheel. So there was not uh, uh, an intrinsic. And uh, what is showed by uh, uh, this, uh, this revelation is uh, um, something which is uh, uh, typical of human uh, nature and uh, is uh, often hidden in human nature, uh, namely uh, the submission. Um, Rousseau was saying that uh, man is born free, but uh, the evidence we have uh, is that uh, uh, the mobilized animal is uh, a submitted animal, no less submitted than the other animal not uh, mobilized. And uh, of course, even more because uh, it's uh, uh, seemingly the submission of uh, the mobilized animal is uh, a voluntary submission. Uh, mm, we, also we have many evidence on the fact that, that the other animal is not necessarily uh, the way in which uh, this submission is uh, created is uh, by the creation of responsibility. This is, uh, in my sense, uh, very important because uh, uh, in order to create, well, very practically, what is uh, the way uh, in which uh, the web, uh, s for instance, submit us? Uh, creating uh, responsible animals. If you are responsible, then you are a, a potentially submitted subject. And in the same time, you are a moral subject. So the paradox uh, is uh, that uh, the principle of uh, uh, moral independence, uh, namely the uh, uh, responsibility, is uh, uh, based on the same principle that uh, uh, creates uh, the submission. And the reason why the web is so efficient uh, on uh, submission purposes uh, is the fact that the web is the maximum uh, source of uh, uh, recording. Uh, it's a gigantic uh, uh, structure of recording. Each uh, act is recorded uh, and uh, inscribed somewhere in the web. And as a result, uh, every kind of uh, record, uh, every recorded act uh, means that we are responsible to what we uh, receive from the web and then we are submitted. In order to make it clear, uh, there is uh, uh, sometimes a naive view on the web that uh, is purely, so to speak, uh, morphological. Uh, uh, computer are, uh, have a screen like TV so that uh, the uh, web uh, is uh, uh, a kind uh, of, uh, uh, say, uh, of TV. Uh, there is a, a gigantic difference uh, between uh, the web uh, and the TV, namely the fact that uh, if you watch at the TV, the people speaking at the TV are not uh, speaking to you exactly. You don't think that uh, who speaks at the TV is uh, directly speaking to you, except you are the President Schreiber or uh, uh, a paranoic. Uh, usually what you watch at the TV, you are not uh, uh, supposing that uh, they are talking to you. But if you are watching to uh, uh, a screen of the web, they're really talking to you. The most of time are really talking to you, are writing to you, are asking to you something, and uh, they know that uh, 
they are directed to you, uh, especially because, uh, for instance, they, 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 they often are aware if you have read the message or not, so that uh, you have this extreme responsibility uh, that uh, you have to answer, especially, you have to answer this. Uh, um, uh, the main problem uh, of uh, our epoch uh, in order to, um, to, 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 to be, uh, um, to make a, a statement, vague but, uh, uh, but true in a sense, is uh, the increasing responsibility we have because uh, of the recording, since uh, we receive messages that uh, are directed to us and that uh, are uh, mm, especially uh, mm, uh, Direct, yes, uh, I don't repeat. Uh, when you uh, uh, read a message uh, uh, on your mobile phone, then the message is to you. When you watch at the TV, the message is not to you. When you watch at the TV, uh, you have not to answer. When you look uh, uh, in the middle of night uh, to your uh, uh, cell phone and then you discover that someone wrote to you, then you can have the bad idea of answering to these uh, people. And if you are asleep uh, uh, or uh, not especially lucid, then you can uh, answer something completely stupid. And uh, nonetheless, you will be taken as responsible of what we have done. This is uh, the reason why uh, uh, the the web uh, is uh, so mobilizing with us, uh, so much more mobilizing than other. Uh, and um, the submission, the submission is uh, that if uh, 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 the, the web uh, has uh, this uh, feature, then it's very clear to uh, see how the web is uh, um, uh, is able to create uh, dependence, uh, to produce normativity, to uh, develop uh, a natural bureaucracy, a spontaneous bureaucracy. Um, all these kind uh, of, uh, uh, of features of the web are revealing uh, this, uh, 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 so to speak, uh, this uh, uh, mm, uh, typical human dependence. Uh, and uh, uh, as for the responsibility, uh, the submission, the human submission, anthropologist and uh, good sense and uh, 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 common sense uh, suggest that uh, the reason why we are dependent is uh, because uh, the, human, the humans uh, became independent very late in comparison to other kind of animals. And uh, what is uh, called the neoteny of uh, uh, the human nature, the fact that uh, uh, much more than other animal kinds, uh, we are uh, um, uh, we are animal that develops very late uh, in uh, our life. Well, the web uh, is uh, something which is uh, very uh, uh, useful in order to improve uh, human neoteny because this uh, necessity of uh, answer to is uh, uh, the, the main necessity of the web. What are you doing when you are on the web? You are answering to someone. And uh, uh, in this sense, uh, uh, the form of uh, dependence created, uh, oh, I mean, revealed by the web is uh, typically based on the, this uh, structure of the answer to, which is, uh, uh, which finds uh, its uh, condition of possibility in uh, uh, the recording. You have to answer to because uh, uh, the answer is uh, 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 directed, uh, directed to you and is recorded. Uh, if uh, 
there was uh, imagine an, uh, an uh, amnesic web uh, a miraculous amnesic web in which you in fact uh, receive uh, uh, the message but then the message suddenly disappear this is a you know that uh, sometimes have been uh, invented the messages that disappear but usually they don't disappear and they remain or your uh, computer you have to answer to and uh, uh, the structure of the answer to is uh, uh, the, 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 the strict uh, the, the, the main structure of uh, the mobilizing power of uh, the web and uh, uh, from the answer to can develop uh, some uh, higher form of responsibility, namely the answer for, to be responsible of uh, something. But the two structures that are rooted in the human neoteny are uh, uh, um, implemented by, uh, by the web. And this especially because the web is mainly recording. This uh, is, uh, 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 if you want, uh, the main uh, ontological thesis of this presentation. Uh, someone asks you a uh, TST about the web. What is the web? And the answer is recording. Of course, it's not only the single way of recording exists in the world, but is recording. And uh, uh, this is uh, something which uh, appears more and more clear, even though uh, uh, in many cases uh, you still see that uh, the web is considered uh, uh, as a way of uh, communication and uh, uh, even the, um, the branch in which uh, uh, is uh, classified the web is uh, usually considered the ECT, uh, Information and Communication Technology, which uh, uh, in fact uh, is not the real nature of web, it's recording. If you exclude the recording from the web, then you are not able to explain the power that the uh, uh, web exerts. So its mobilizing power derives uh, from the spontaneous construction of social objects, uh, of a responsibility of uh, that uh, that's intrinsic to the web. Uh, I see that uh, now is uh, at 10:40, no 10:35, uh, and uh, I will not. Uh, there is uh, uh, a second and a third, uh, a th third and a fourth part of my presentation, but uh, I will not uh, be tricky. The, the the most important part is this one. I will not uh, create uh, uh, a sublime effect uh, saying that then you can imagine how beautiful was the rest. I will uh, just uh, go uh, very fast in order to show what is. Uh, uh what emerge in uh, in the web so uh, the f the form of uh, emerging of the web is intrinsically very interesting also for uh, people studies the society or the history or the uh, uh, paleontology even for the paleontologists uh, the web is uh, very interesting why because uh, it's a form of emerging who can be compared to the emergence of fire, of uh, uh, working the stones, which is the main uh, concern of uh, uh, Le Roi Gouran, like the uh, writing. And, uh, but what is very uh, relevant with the web is that his history is extremely short and uh, extremely visible, so that uh, uh, the evolution of the web shows in less than 30 years a uh, kind of evolution that, uh, for instance, uh, for writing took uh, uh, four or five uh, uh, millennia and uh, for the fire, who knows? And uh, this is uh, uh, the reason why uh, it is ridiculous in a sense uh, that when the web appeared, uh, then people were speaking about the web as virtual. 
First, the web is not virtual at all, it's a, a form of hyper-reality. And uh, secondly, what is really interesting is that uh, uh, the web shows to us a uh, um, stage of uh, developing uh, of uh, technique and uh, characters of uh, human nature that uh, then uh, uh, in other uh, uh, fields, for instance, the writing on the fire can, uh, cannot be detected, uh, at least uh, cannot be detected so easily. Uh, if uh, we understand that the web is not simply a way of communication, but is uh, this kind of recording and construction of social reality, that uh, um, in this sense, uh, I would suggest that the web, since uh, the, the main effect of the web is uh, that uh, every single event on the web is recorded, then uh, the web is the spontaneous producer of documents, uh, is a uh, uh, real matrix that creates uh, documentality. <laughs> and uh, since the documents are uh, the most mobilizing uh, uh, reality existing in the world, why? Because uh, if you receive uh, an order, this uh, order is a document that mobilizes uh, you. If uh, someone gives you five uh, euros, for instance, uh, this is a document that can mobilize, uh, for instance, with uh, 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 a document of uh, one euro and 20 cents, I can mobilize uh, someone in uh, a bar and receive a coffee, for instance. Uh, this uh, kind of mobilization of the intentionality is produced by documents, uh, and uh, this uh, gigantic producer of uh, document uh, which is the web, is the gigantic uh, uh, field of mobilization. Uh, no one, again, no one uh, projected this, uh, uh, this emerging. Of course, there, were, uh, there was someone uh, uh, in the Apple uh, factory who projected uh, uh, this kind of chain that I have here, but uh, um, the fact that uh, 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 someone like the web could become a chain for people was not projected by someone, was uh, a character, uh, an intrinsic character of the web. Then, excuse me, I go. Uh, is this, uh, uh, should we uh, remain a slave uh, of, uh, of the web, which is a, a very obscure uh, uh, expression. But uh, each time uh, on uh, the public discourse, uh, uh, especially uh, on the newspaper about the web, uh, is we are a slave of the web. It's very obscure to understand how in which kind uh, we are slave of the web, or especially slave of the web instead of being slave of uh, about the food uh, we are dependent from the food or we are a slave uh, about the humanity because we need uh, other people and uh, we need uh, that uh, they are knowledge ourselves and so on and so forth and uh, but um, 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 there is uh, a way of uh, understand what we are uh, with this, uh, what I suggested, this uh, Copernican revolution from the technology to what we are. And um, this uh, kind uh, of, uh, of revolution also shows that, uh, uh, so to speak, uh, we, we are always uh, able to uh, free ourselves uh, uh, from uh, of, uh, so to speak, the chain we have. But uh, we have uh, to be uh, aware of the fact uh, that uh, those chains are constitutive of uh, what uh, we are. Uh, to go to the conclusion of uh, uh, this reference uh, to the revolution, I find it that uh, conservatory thinkers uh, are usually much more wise about uh, the real nature of human uh, 
uh, of humanity than progressive thinkers. Uh, De Maistre is much more wise than Rousseau because he's aware of the fact that, that uh, uh, the humanity is constitutively, uh, uh, um, in a sense, I will not say bad, but uh, 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 submitted. But uh, the conservative thinkers uh, uh, find it uh, some uh, 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 from this uh, the conclusion that uh, the human should be submitted. This is not uh, a legitimate con uh, 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 conclusion from the fact that, that uh, the humanity is not is submitted. We cannot derive uh, that humanity should be submitted, of course, and. Uh, the example of Webb, which is uh, uh, something that uh, is a way of submission, but in the same time is uh, a way of, uh, of, uh, of freedom. We should uh, be aware of this point and uh, uh, try to find uh, the best way of freedom that uh, uh, comes from the web. But if we uh, think that the web as such is freedom, which was uh, the dominant ideology of the web since no many times at all. I remember when uh, three or four years ago uh, there was uh, a proposal of giving uh, uh, the Nobel Prize for the Peace to the web which is uh, uh, ridiculous, uh, 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 give, just give the Nobel Prize for the peace uh, to the drones uh, in this case. But um, if uh, we are aware that uh, this ideological representation is false, uh, then we can be able to understand uh, how to free ourselves with the web. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I'd love to, s to hear more about rev revelation. Um, in the sense that um, it's clear that uh, technology makes us discover something about ourselves in many occasions. In many occasions, because you you simply discover that you can do things that you could couldn't do before. But then you have a stronger claim here: is that technology makes you discover something about your nature, which could be said about uh, social networks, maybe. We didn't know how much we uh, like to be constantly in connection with people. We, but of course, there is a factual point here to be to be made. So, are we really making this discovery? That is, are we really discovering that we like to be in contact with other people so much in so many occasions in our life, or uh, it's not really the same thing? <laughs> as before, so it's not really being in contact. Are we using the right words for describing this change? So if you want to assess a revelation, you have to first to make sure that your factual description of the situation is appropriate. And then the second point is related to um, uh, a feedback loop with design in this and in other cases. You, um, of course, technology is a very Darwinian process, as it is usually described. Uh, you're throwing new uh, apps or whatever into the market, and some of those survive. Probably those survive that reveal something about ourselves, maybe. But there is also an element of design. It's not a completely Darwinian process. I mean, some people would like to describe it as Darwinian, but it's obviously very much Lamarckian, in the sense that you have a lot of constraints to satisfy uh, in the in the design process, so uh, maybe we discover at some point in 2004 that we were really uh, interested in being dependent from each other through technology, but maybe there was an e a design element be behind it. So it's not just an emergence of a or a revelation in, in the sense. So there are two senses in which I would like to weaken the notion of revelation that you're using here. I'm, I'm happy with it, but I would like to hear more about that. Yes, uh, I, I admit uh, that uh, <coughs> revelation is uh, uh, a vague notion, no more vague, uh, no less vague than alienation, and uh, its goal is uh, to be a guide uh, to read technology instead uh, of the hypothesis of alienation, which is uh, 
uh, till now the most uh, diffused way mm. and uh, is uh, something we renders us blind about uh, uh, about uh, uh, the nature of technology with this i am uh, completely uh, i completely agree with you that uh, uh, this uh, notion should be weakened uh, in the way you said uh, and uh, also refined uh, and this is uh, and this is uh, uh, a huge work in order to refine what is uh, uh, revelation uh, but um, for instance um, there is something which is uh, uh, typically of uh, the web, which is uh, intrinsically uh, a, a character, uh, a revelation of the web. Because just to, uh, because um, if uh, um, the basis of uh, your, uh, uh, your point was, uh, well, but uh, uh, the web shows uh, how we like uh, to speak each other. But in fact, uh, uh, since uh, the man was considered zon logon echon, an animal, a social animal, then uh, what is uh, uh, the, the object of uh, the discovery? <laughs> the case of mobilized animal is slightly different. Because uh, uh, since we were uh, in, uh, so to speak, a Fordistic universe, uh, the reason why people were mobilized uh, could be interpreted as uh, uh, utilitary reasons. People are mobilized, uh, go to the factory, because uh, they need money, and they need money in order to survive. Uh, classical explanation. But uh, when you find uh, someone uh, who uh, answer at night uh, to uh, a question uh, and uh, produces, uh, for instance, uh, uh, wealth to the owner of uh, the social network, then this one is uh, mobilized works, there is a way in which uh, he works, uh, which is uh, consistently, uh, uh, um, is not, uh, to me, is not just uh, an uh, uh, hyperbole of, uh, um, uh, of, uh, uh, of communication. It's uh, that uh, you are uh, um, really working without uh, any practical advantage and uh, this is something which uh, which is new it was not previewed uh, because uh, one can say well suppose that uh, 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 um, you are uh, an employee uh, uh, you go home uh, then uh, 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 the, the origin if you are in not in at the at office uh, you have not to work now you have to work uh, uh, everywhere, and you accept it. Uh, is uh, no, of course, uh, the most, uh, the most of humanity, uh, and uh, I'm also, uh, 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 mm, I find it uh, very important uh, to uh, create a form of uh, resistance, uh, form uh, of uh, education, uh, which is your suggestion, and I perfectly agree, but. Uh, this form of resistance and education should uh, start, in my view at least, uh, from the hypothesis of revelation and not of the uh, alienation. Uh, hello, I, I'd like to, to suggest that maybe instead of responsibility, we could think of responsibility. And this means a lot because maybe we need to develop new abilities to this kind of response that the web is asking us to give. And this implies literacy regarding responding. And maybe this is the way of freedom in this situation, can be one way to think on, on this 
ability to respond. And another thing I'd like to ask is about the right to forget, because if you are talking about documentation, if you are talking about the recording a profile that has, is in the nature of the web, what is our possibility to develop really deeper the right to forget that is kind of blurring yet? Uh, um, the two points, uh, the responsibility and the right of for to, to, to forget, which are very important, show us uh, uh, a need uh, of uh, uh, education of uh, uh, human, uh, of humans uh, um, that uh, is not, uh, uh, I would say, is not uh, simply a question of uh, of the web. Imagine when uh, uh, people discover uh, that, that uh, <coughs> the ships uh, should be progressed with the use uh, of uh, of uh, humans <coughs> in jail. In fact, uh, that uh, makes it that the ship uh, works. And this was uh, considered that uh, uh, normal for uh, centuries. And then uh, someone uh, considered that was not a, such a good idea. To make ships uh, uh, that uh, was uh, that implies the use of slaves. Uh, in a sense, the, the web, the contemporary web, is uh, a ship uh, in which it is considered as normal to use uh, slaves uh, in the ship. Uh, uh, um, the uh, uh, and this depends from the fact that the humans uh, are much more uh, uh, um, disposed uh, to slavery than we suppose. Uh, and uh, yes, I uh, am sure that uh, within uh, a, a couple of centuries, uh, the web will be uh, much more human than today and we will be uh, we we have uh, uh, developed the responsibility right to forget uh, uh, etc now is um, more close to uh, the ship uh, with a human uh, propulsion well i agree with what you have said about the conjunction between answering to and answering for and uh, about the web as regarding us. But uh, there is a more difficult point. Uh, the web is also forgetting us. And um, for example, we are disappearing in Google search, and I don't feel quite confident in the impact factor uh, against this point. <laughs> so um, another example, uh, write writers are writing on websites, and the websites are writing on will disappear uh, when they are dead, if the heirs don't pay the fees. So um, I think there is quite a difficult point for your hypothesis of documentality. I, uh, and I will know, uh, I, will <laughs> I would like to know how you can uh, take this um, part of the web into account in your hypothesis. I'm not sure to have understood uh, what is the problem with documentality is in the oblivion. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, um, uh, um, in my point of view, the, the web is not our only recording what we are doing, uh -huh. but there are mechanical um, devices by which we are uh, we are forgetting for forgetting into the into the web. For example, writers, you know, uh, on the website. Well. Uh, the Sometimes uh, her books are not published, and uh, what about her websites after our death? Ah, so yes. Uh, uh, this is a difficult point because web is not only recording us, it is always forgetting us and not uh, forgetting what we want to be forgetted, but uh, forgetted, forgetting what we want to be recorded. Yes, uh, but um, this hypothesis uh, that you suggest is perfectly true what you say, but uh, uh, I would say that the web is mostly recording and uh, accidentally forgetting. And uh, uh, another way in which uh, uh, the web uh, can produce uh, uh, 
forgetting uh, could be the uh, excess of recording also, for instance. If you have uh, a gigantic quantity of recording, uh, then uh, you will more able to forget uh, and because the human mind uh, is a finite entity and the web not. Don't. Uh, um, this, uh, uh, but this uh, is... Uh, these are completely true, but inscribed in the hypothesis uh, of uh, the web as a recording. Actually, it's a very short comment uh, uh, spurred by your presentation, of course. Uh, you present um, the web as, as, in a sense, as a given. It's the web and as a sort of a natural fact, it's there. And uh, actually, as a technical person, as a computer scientist, uh, uh, I'm fully aware that the, the web, of course, is actually shaped and designed and as Roberto Casati mentioned, is also constantly evolving. And uh, the comment is that um, uh, not only is evolving in the sense that we as users are picking one app uh, and, and ignoring other apps, uh, but also the framework itself uh, of what we call the web is evolving. And the framework is depends on laws, uh, on technical standards, uh, and powerful economic forces. Now, uh, maybe it's a comment that is good to make right at the beginning because I think that we have to take that into consideration and also not to despair that there is we have some agency actually we have some agency as users uh, that use one app and not another uh, and also we banned apps to do things that were not foreseen as technical users we can also create our own software and infrastructure of course it's a limited part of the population and as with as citizens uh, we have at least in theory, the potential to influence the framework itself. So deal with the laws and deal with the economic forces. I'm sorry if uh, I presented the web as a matter of fact, as a, as a new nature, as a nature. I, uh, I am aware that uh, uh, there are people like you, for instance, uh, behind the web, uh, and I'm uh, pre perfectly happy that you and not others are behind the web, that suppose uh, that there is uh, uh, an action of uh, who is uh, behind the web on what the web is. But uh, my only concern was that if, like at the beginning of the web, we consider the web as freedom as such, as collective uh, uh, intelligence, uh, or, uh, uh, as a peace and so on and so forth, then people who are behind the web and also people who are this side of the web uh, uh, will be uh, uh, without uh, uh, weapons in order to act uh, uh, in the web. And uh, for instance, for uh, uh, for decades, I would say for decades, for many years, the only ethical issue about the web was about the privacy. The, the, the only one, the only concern, the only evident concern about, about the web was the privacy. We have to add to this uh, kind of concern also other kind, for instance, uh, 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 the defense of the workers on the web, what is a worker on the web, uh, uh, what is... Uh, uh, what 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 you, what is uh, also the maximum of answers you can ask uh, on the web? Uh, uh, this this is not as necessarily so silly as uh, as uh, an ethical concern. Thank you, thank you, Maurizio.